اعزائنا عائلاتنا في هذا الحدث تيدكس خرطوم ومن Constantly kept reminding me 
that I was twice as strong as any man he had ever known, in both will and mind power. I guess this was his way of saying I was a pretty stubborn little kid. But anyway, uh, in a culture where women were generally achieved, uh, expected to achieve less than men, I found that uplifting. I found that refreshing. So my family are my pivot, they are my rock, and I'd like to pay tribute to them here today. Thank you. I started small, but with a big goal in mind. Um, after graduating, I took up post as clinical pharmacist at the London Clinic of Harley Street, and then on to become superintendent pharmacist in Wigmore Medical of Wigmore Street. Both establishments were renowned in their provision of excellent health services, and boasted some of the top pharmacists, doctors, dermatologists, and plastic surgeons in the world. And guess what? I was working with them. I seized that window of opportunity and absorbed all the knowledge and all the information that I could one day use to help launch my business. Working there exposed me to some of the best of many science labs on offer, where I learned about mixing, ingredients, formulation, packaging, delivery systems, and even marketing. I also worked part-time and overtime and on weekends, trying to finance this project. Because if I was going to do this, I would take sheer pleasure in doing it on my own. And then, I was ready. Sabo Medica and Sabo Dharma were launched in London in 2006. I actively promoted my products through pharmacies and many spots in Harlem Street, and vigorously advertised in Asian, Black, and Middle Eastern magazines on the efficacy of the product. The products were embraced by consumers and did well. I guess that had started filling in a void or a gap. The products were also embedded with a unique technology that combined the benefits and science of Ayurvedic curves together with standard pharmaceuticals. And I think that gave them an edge. And then my mind went to Sudan, my country at birth, a country that I so much wanted to get something back to. And my journey took me to Khartoum, where I established Saba Medica and launched Saba Derma in 2008. The products were an instant hit with consumers. I guess I provided an alternative of years of possibly ineffective products, and more importantly, an alternative to the harmful bleaching chemicals that were now infiltrating the Sudanese cosmetic market. To my delight, but not without blood, sweat, nor tears. The working environment in Sudan was new to me. It had its own dynamic, its own framework, its own system, its own guidelines. And I found it challenging registering my business, obtaining licenses, permits, advertising, even recruiting staff. All this was made more difficult because I was doing all this and operating all this on my own as a single, young, independent woman. This was made worse by certain social limitations, preconceptions, restrictions, and even in some cases prejudice that I was experiencing towards some single, young, independent women. But I would not give up. No, no. I would not falter. This was my dream, my goal. I would pursue it. Many a time, I remember driving off almost in tears after a business meeting while trying to obtain a permit or a license, and in total distress after it was turned down or declined. And I would silently pray to God seek guidance and patience. And of course, constantly tune in my Angelos spoken poetry verses of still I rise. And still I rise. Sometimes it was hardcore rap by Mr. Tupac Shakur. <laughs> and today, South America boasts three branches in cartoon 
whose plans they expand into rural areas, neighboring African countries, and the Middle East. Our branch still stands tall in London, and our range continues to expand and evolve. And my journey continues because I choose to live my dream. I choose to realize my dream. I believe the moment when you discover, <laughs> determine your purpose in life is priceless. So don't you dare let life cheat you out of it. No, no. Think your dream. Plan your dream. Act your dream. Against all odds. Thank you.